Clear Communication, Mastering Message Clarity in English. Hello everyone and welcome to another video in our series of Learning English. Today, we're focusing on a critical aspect of telephone and video call etiquette, addressing misunderstandings and miscommunications. More specifically, we'll explore assessing the clarity of your own message. The better you can communicate your thoughts and ideas, the less likely misunderstandings will occur. So, let's get started. First things first, let's understand what we mean by message clarity. Message clarity refers to how well your message is understood by the recipient. If your message is clear, it means that it is unambiguous, straightforward, and easily understood. This is extremely important, especially in a language that is not your mother tongue, like English for many of us. Why is clarity so important in communication? Clear communication helps to prevent misunderstandings and miscommunications. When you express your thoughts and intentions precisely, the person you're speaking to will understand you better. This will help prevent unnecessary confusion or mistakes. Let's dive into some techniques for improving the clarity of your messages. 1. Be concise. Avoid unnecessary words and complex sentences. Remember that less is often more in communication. 2. Use simple language. Avoid jargon or technical terms unless you're certain the other person understands them. 3. Check for understanding. After delivering your message, check to ensure the other person has understood. You can do this by asking open-ended questions like, what are your thoughts about that? Or, could you tell me how you understood that? 4. Use visual aids. If you're in a video call, consider using visual aids like graphs, charts, or even simple hand gestures to support your verbal message. While communicating, it's important to continuously assess the clarity of your own message. To do this, you can 1. Seek feedback. Don't hesitate to ask, did that make sense? Or, would you like me to clarify anything? 2. Watch for nonverbal cues. If the person looks confused or asks lots of clarifying questions, you may need to restate your message more clearly. 3. Practice. Like any skill, clear communication comes with practice. You can practice with friends, family, or even in front of a mirror. In conclusion, being able to assess the clarity of your own message is a critical skill for effective communication, especially in a second language. It helps avoid misunderstandings and miscommunications. Remember, Clear communication is about being concise, using simple language, checking for understanding, using visual aids when possible, and regularly seeking feedback. I hope this video has been helpful in your English language journey. See you in the next one. Happy learning!